Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson. I'm sitting here with Richard Irving from the Xbox engineering team. Richard, it's good to see you. Always great to be here. We have had a busy summer with E3 and Gamescom, but we're getting back in the swing of things, and we're here to talk about the Xbox app on Windows 10. That's right. Richard, we have some uh, new features, a lot of it based on fan feedback, and the first one up is uh, high-quality game streaming. That's right. Uh, the fan feedback around game, game streaming has been incredible. We've been, uh, we've been working on a higher-quality setting, uh, for game streaming. So now, uh, if you're if you have the right network conditions, uh, you're going to be able to stream at uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second from your Xbox One uh, to the Xbox app. And it's important to note you, you talked about network settings, and obviously it works best with a wired network scenario because there's a lot of data going out. Yeah, that's right. So it's a, a, a very bandwidth intensive uh, setting, but if you do have the right uh, network conditions, it can work over wireless sure. uh, if you have the right network conditions, uh, but that it's entirely dependent on that. All right, next up we've got, we can pair achievements with a friend. Always a fun feature. Very popular feature on uh, Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Uh, and now it's finding its way to uh, the Xbox app. And so uh, the basic idea here is you'll just uh, drill through the achievements that you've earned uh, on the games that you've played. And you can select from the list of your friends who have also played that game. Uh, see the achievements uh, they've earned in comparison to yours. You can even see for Xbox One games, you can see the progress that they've made towards earning those achievements. And you can even see which of your friends have earned uh, each of the achievements in the last 90 days. Achievements are really important to the Xbox crowd. I want to move over here to the left-hand side of the app. You've, done, you've updated the recently played section. So also by fan feedback, everyone wants to know who's playing the games uh, that they play. And so now uh, when you first start up the Xbox app and, and look on your home screen, uh, in the recently played list, for all of your Xbox Live enabled games, you will see you will see which of your friends uh, also play that game. Now, Richard, over here on the right hand side is where your friends list is, but you you guys have done a little work over there as well. Also, some good fan feedback about wanting it to be quicker and easier to both send messages uh, and invite friends to parties. Um, and so now you can right click on any friend in that list um, and select to send them a message, and you'll get a little uh, uh, dialogue uh, to type in your message and just very quickly send the message. Uh, or you can invite them to a party, which will start up the party automatically. And when your friend accepts the invite, you will be chatting with them, whether they're on Windows 10 using the Xbox app or on their Xbox One. Richard, I want to take a look at my games. The team has done some work around there as well to help me manage my library a little better. That, that's right. Uh, so this has uh, been one of the most popular features uh, of the Xbox app uh, throughout the entire time we've been in preview. And we've been, uh, since we re uh, released it at the end of July, we've gotten a lot of great feedback on how to improve it. And so we're making it easier for uh, people to manage very large game collections. And so uh, one feature that we've added is, is we've uh, simply updated the UI to make it easier to see more of your games on the screen at once. Uh, so you get a higher density view of those games. Um, the other cool feature though, is if you click on one of the letters that sort of sorts uh, or separates the, the games in your collection, you'll get this jump list, this alphabetic jump list, uh, that when you click on a letter from that jump list, you'll just jump right to that location in your library and see the games that start with that letter. That's really awesome. It's also a good reminder to point out that uh, this area here, the library, works with pretty much most any game service. Wherever you buy your games across the internet, they're, they're most likely going to show up in here. Th that's right. Thanks, Richard. Now, this is the first update to the Xbox app since Windows 10 launched. Can we expect regular updates moving forward? Yeah, we're committed to fan feedback uh, just like we are on Xbox One, and we're going to uh, uh, be doing uh, regular updates uh, from here on out. Speaking of fan feedback, be sure to head over to feedback.xbox.com and leave your comments there and uh, let us know what you think. Richard, thanks for your time. Thank you.